We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. With top speeds of around 210 miles per hour heading into the overtaking opportunity of turn 13, the 2.7 miles of the circuit Gilles Villeneuve are some of the quickest on the Formula One calendar. There are 14 corners in total, with 60% of the lap taken at full throttle, and average lap speeds clock in at about 130 miles per hour. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and will start from pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Iceman and Bottas, Verstappen, Ricardo, Albon and Pierre Gasly, Stroll, Ocon, Daniel Kvyat and Perez, Russell, Latifi, Kevin Magnussen and Antoine Hubert. Jovanadze, a Williams. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? OK, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another, another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. We're in our second season. And uh, hopefully all of you guys are excited for this race and, of course, tomorrow's race at uh, the Canadian Grand Prix. Well, actually, not tomorrow's not Canadian. Tomorrow is not the Canadian Grand Prix. Tomorrow is the French Grand Prix, actually. So I'm going to have to shoot an extra video just uh, to get you to get all this content out to you guys. Um, now, I might release the French, uh, the France video the day after um, and, of course, to the results. But I feel like we might change our strategy up again uh, with how we are releasing these F1 videos. I'm just trying to get the hang of it here. But F1 2021 is releasing July 20, July 21st now, July 16th. So with that, I feel like that's where we should end F1 2020. Maybe uh, if our RPC should be able to handle uh, F1 2021 in 4K, I hope. Uh, but yeah, our plan is to finish this season up before July 16th, and maybe July 16th we'll release F1 2021. But we'll see what we can do. But without that, this is our home Grand Prix, so let's go ahead and dive right in and see if we can get a good launch here. Alright, let's see if we can get a decent launch here. We didn't have time to actually replace our engine. Oh, it's a bad launch. Not the greatest launch. Oh, well, we will dive up on the inside of them like Ricardo does. Hamilton to contest with now. Really gotta watch those walls in, in this Grand Prix. Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. Go Hamilton, old boy. Get out of here. Oh, it's a bad corner. Norris is just killing it. Let's see if our engine actually lasts this whole race. It should be fine. We still have, I think, 200-some laps left on, on the actual performance of it, so 
That should be fine. is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. I think I break too early there. to see a loss of power. Metal shouldn't have DRS, we should really close the gap on him a little bit. Not too much though. A bit of a skip there on our tires. Accumulating some wear on the MGUK. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. In F1 2021, that would be a ton of body damage, I think. This isn't F1 2021, so we can get away with that. Just dive right in. MFD for a new strategy option. Once we're on the straightaway, we'll check our MFD. Confirm. Copy that. So we're going nice up two laps in these tires, see how they would do. Very late turn in there. It'll turn you the drop on us here. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Yeah, get out of here. He cut me off. Box the slap. Right, come in at the end of the slap. Strategy is available on the MFD. Confirm. Copy. Like I just said, box the slap, and I asked, tell me, oh, there's a new strategy, you should box the slap. Like, I am boxing the slap, but relax. A lot of front wing damage. I wonder if Vettel's gonna be, if we're gonna talk to Vettel at the end of this race. Okay, I messed up our race, and we're gonna mess up his, sorry, that's just how it is. Alright, uh, Hamilton's going into the pits. Uh, is Vettel coming in as well? Mm, no. Nice, we got out of the head of Hamilton too. We do have a bunch of engine damage though, so this is not going to be fun. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. It's like Sergio Perez got tied up in that mix somewhere. So he went into box as well. Power 
power from the engine is going to be down slightly. It's showing some minor wear. Okay, there should be a day pending in about a couple laps, I think. I'm right, I'll hold up the Hamilton, we don't need him here. I need to catch up to Adam Hubert. Ah, uh, Hamilton got by Ren already. Gap to car in front is 5.2 seconds. Battle pit, pit it as well. You guys pit it. I don't think I got, got tied up by Ricardo. Portion. The safety car is out. Keep an eye on the Delta. We need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty. Slow down. Maintain positive Delta. Speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. What is a safety car? Uh, I only got a free stop pretty much. Whatever, we can just run our car and lean. to fit the mediums, car ahead, now running medium tires. Some energy saving, there's some... fuel saving here, so that we can use uh, rich for a good amount of the laps. Give me one more lap with the safety car.
Okay. Come on. Let's see if we can get a slingshot maybe past them. We'll see if we can time it right. Are gonna go in. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. Definitely didn't time it right. Okay, clear. Right, we'll see what we can do. The tires were cold. Didn't warm up, warm them up properly. Lost a bit of time there. Take and burn some of this energy. And we're down on power as well, so. So that's not helping us right now. Jeez, why do you break so hard, Albon? Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Get out of here. I'm gonna take this lap. Keep current. Confirmed. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. Uh, another hit, wall touch. Oh my god. The understeer is real. race update so far our fastest lap is a 112.4 I'm just considering if I should go into the pits I should get onto softs or not but we only have six laps left technically and okay the stewards have now enabled DRS DRS is now online and just not worth it I'm, I can either stay six or I can drop down quite a bit and catching up with that whole pack like that would be tough Push Alcana here a little bit. Not today, bud. Just cut that chicane.
Let's turn in even earlier in that, in that corner. In the swing. There's five laps of fuel remaining. A little bit of cheating, cheating there. Let's recover all a little bit of our ERS. Gap to teammate ahead is 5.0 seconds. Just getting all tangled up with Max Verstappen here. I want a one verse happen to be badass. Is moving to mix two, fuel to mix two. Turbocharger is on its last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. No, Jeff, I'm not listening to you. Just using all the track possible. Gotta make sure we, we have enough fuel to finish the race. A few remaining. I just dug out dive bomb bot ass here somewhere. Get on the podium. Last corner seems like it. Like the best place to do it. He's got to save overtake for the last part of the race. You know those that there was that big of a jump there. Holy! Alright, so we're going to be our This is your final lap, final lap of the race. McLaren's gotta be on podium, we gotta do whatever we can to stay ahead of Bottas. Okay, 
gap ahead is 5.0 seconds. Get out of here, bot ass. Oh man, that was rough. Really gotta abuse the track limits on this track. Good job, you oh, did that was, that was crazy. Driving. So we're gonna have only two spots technically. That's what I'm not gonna drive of the day. I wouldn't be surprised. I think he did pretty well. But we didn't do the greatest. A truly magnificent drive then, and a great performance from the well, entire we did, team we did to well secure from victory here in Canada. Norris is just killing it though, holy. How is he getting so much power out of our car? And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, the safety car completely changed well the race, Well done didn't to it? our boy it's Norris. It's to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race for McLaren, that's for sure. And no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. And no Red Bull and no Mercedes on podium. That is just a surprise. What a surprise. Now let's see what are, where are the actual results here. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Iceman increases their championship lead. So, Anthony Davidson, yeah, who would you rank as your driver of the faster. day? Difficult call. But I'd like to say Esteban Ocon. He's just so gifted at yeah, getting the Bottas, most out of his tires. They're all at 113. They're through us Let's move on to the constructors. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. Meanwhile, <sighs> Alpha Tori's strong weekend allows them to continue their Valtteri, march up the table. Max and with that, we wrap up Verstappen. another weekend of motorsport. Lewis Hamilton, wow, he's up to ninth. Be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Yeah, every, not the greatest, but... Uh, let's go standings. Looks good. We are still up there. Uh, we're stopping slowly. Uh, I wouldn't say he's closing the lead. Crutchers, we are still winning. Ferrari's catching up. Let's see what they have to say in these interviews for us. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Mm, thanks. You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? <laughs> Unless there's a movable object out, out there, yeah. With this team behind me, I don't think so. It's a good answer for my claim. There are rumors that you're looking for a contract with another team. Is there with any Red Bull. to that? Uh, it would be a bit of a trade down, but I'd never go there. No truth at all about what I want to move. Of course I'm happy here. Uh, I'd, I'd be lucky if they want me. Uh, you know, of course not. I'm happy here. Uh, hmm. Would be great to drive ri drive with Max Verstappen, but we're still uh, McLaren's team. Jealousy in seeing your teammate up there on the podium, or are you happy for them? I couldn't be happier for them. So. Your teammate is up on the podium today. This is a great thing for the team, isn't it? Absolutely. No one can take credit for what result from the uh, for that result apart from the driver. It's fantastic how many cars can be driven as hard as that. Yeah. Great. Well, that's everything. Thank you. So a four and four. So we're pretty even here. Ooh, three races remaining. All right, so I think our next one is France, if I'm correct. That's always a fun circuit, right? Probably the worst circuit on the grid. Actually, no, Monaco is pretty bad. But hopefully, as you enjoyed this episode, we'll uh, work on getting the French Grand Prix out to you as well here shortly. And if you like these episodes, hit the like button, hit the, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.